Good, good morning. Hello. It's a <laughs> Friday. Oh, that was the worst voice break ever. It's a Friday, lads. Good morning, Friday. It's not Good Friday. It is a good, it is a good Friday. It's not the Good Friday. But it's a sunny day. It is a, it's going to be one of the hottest days of the year. I'm going to go meet up with some more friends over the park. And then I just have a very, very, very long night of writing. I have a very long night of writing. I, I just don't. I have no idea how I'm going to get it done. But I'm going to try my hardest. This is definitely the longest thing I've ever written. It's a feature length. I need to get it done today. Where it's going to be posted to a blog. I was working on it last night for quite a long time. But it's all worth it. You know, it's like... It, it feels good. Right, once I have it done, it'll feel, it'll feel like a bunch of weight will be lifted off my shoulders. Got a lot of um, stuff to do. But it's one of the things I have to get on with editing. No, I have about two hours and then I'm out again. I do want to look at something today. I have something really cool. It's, uh, it's, it's this. I found this the other day. But I wanted to do a video on it because I wanted more time to do stuff on it because it's important. My granddad, he used to collect stamps. He, he used to be an avid stamp collector. And this is only some of his stuff. I only realised the other day that he, he, the rest of it's upstairs in the attic. It, there's way more than this. These are just stamps that he collected. And they're insane. They're so cool. I've never been excited by stamps in my life. I've never felt the need to collect stamps. But you can you know when you can appreciate when something's cool? I can appreciate that this is cool. I found a stamp in here yesterday from 1968 Olympics. I'm sure there's one's older than that. Um, there's ones from all over the world. Asia, Middle East, America, a lot from Canada, all over Europe. So it's going to be really interesting. I want to look at some of the stamps from across the world. If I can find my favourite. <laughs> I'm going to get on. Actually, I probably need to get changed because I'm still in my PJs. Because I'm cool. And, um, oh. It's 11 o'clock now. I'm supposed to be meeting them at 12. It takes me about half an hour to get there. So, yeah, I, I better start hurrying up. and get my hair cut tomorrow. It's pretty cool. I like having short hair. Short hair is fun because you don't have to, it doesn't take as long in the morning to get ready. It's so hot. Like, like it's really hot. It's, it's very hot. It's, uh, it's about five o'clock. Good evening. So, uh, I'm still not finished writing. I still have loads to do, but I've made really good progress. That I'm always there. I'm, at, I'm, I'm, I can see the finish line. I'm like 10 to 20 pages near and I have tomorrow to get it done. It's quite nice having a deadline, but it's also stressful. One thing with certain deadlines, you have to pick a one that's reasonable, but also one that's going to push you. And I find when I push to set myself deadlines to, with my vlogs, it's within reason. At the start, when I used to do it, it, it was almost like impossible. It's about building up that work ethic. Work ethic is something that you can, uh, I believe you can improve on. So getting myself into a constant state of writing. And I know I never thought I'd be excited by stamps before, but... Stamps can be pretty cool, but no, I'm not a stamp collector. I don't intend to be a stamp collector. I'm sorry if you come here for some stamp collector tips. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, that doesn't really help much, but it's a Pachycephalosaurus, and um, that's kind of crazy. I believe it might be Poland, but it's a Pachycephalosaurus. Cool dinosaur. It's a very cool dinosaur. Oh, look, it has a moose on it. I've been thinking about getting tattooed for ages. I just thought of a new idea what I thought would be really cool. Getting tattoos of, like, stamps of places I've been, like, with their landmarks would be a really cool thing to do. So if I went to France, I could get, you know, a tattoo of a stamp with the Eiffel Tower on it. I don't know. Is that basic or is that cool? I can't tell. Looks like a cool idea in my head. This is genuinely really fun. Kind of like a look back in the past. This is fascinating. Oh my god, parents, look at the sky. Oh my god, look at that. Tyson said. That sky is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I'm going to time lapse it. I'm going to time lapse it. I just saw the craziest view I think I've ever seen. I think I've got one of the best time lapses I've ever got. Kind of insane. Can't believe I saw that, but it's all done now. It happened really fast. That's why the time lapse is really short. But it gave me enough time to pick out enough stamps and also do a bit more writing. But I reckon I'll probably end up trying to finish it off tomorrow. So here's some of my favourites I found. There's this cool one of a very fast plane with an air balloon in the background. Uh, here's one from the Olympics. I believe the Winter Olympics and ice hockey. Very cool. Uh, th I think this is one of the oldest ones I've found. Found older, but this one's uh, I found today. This is from the 1976 Olympics. That's very cool. Oh, uh, this one's really cool. This one, I don't know where it's from, but it has a really cool elephant on it. And I'm a big fan of that. Oh, uh, this one's so cool. I really like this one. This one has a satellite and like an air balloon on it. Give me like really cyberpunk vibes. I love it and it goes like edge to edge as well. Probably one of my favorite ones in terms of artwork. Like the detail is incredible. I'm getting excited over stamps. I really am. This is a really cool one from Ethiopia I really like. I believe there might be woodpeckers, yeah? Woodpeckers on there, that, that, they're really cool. This one's of like a monorail system uh, from Singapore. I really liked it because of the colors. I thought it looked really groovy. Oh no, this one's sick. This one's from South Africa. Oh, can you see that? Is it gonna focus? There we go. This one's another Olympic one. It has like divers on it. I believe this one's from like uh, the 80s. Oh, I love this one. This one has a turtle. It's from Thailand. Zimbabwe. 
a very cool airplane. It's giving me uh, Italian job vibes. Uh, this one's from Ethiopia again. It's like the map of Ethiopia. It has the animals in different sections. I actually love that one, it's so cool. Here's one from Zimbabwe with a lovely cheetah on it. I'd love to go on safari. I think it's, it's on my bucket list to go on safari. I'd like to love to travel out to Africa and go on like a, go to one of the reserves and one of the national parks and go around. Oh, this one's from uh, Barbados and it's about the moon landing. There's a space shuttle going from space on the moon. The colours are incredible. This is kind of just a one-off video. I felt like I wanted to show it, doesn't that? It's like my granddad's history. It's what he used to like to do. Um, so I thought it was important to kind of show it. I thought it would be really interesting for some people. I'm sorry for people at the stamp community. And they gave me loads of ideas. It gave me lots of inspiration about places that I'm thinking about visiting and stuff. So it's getting late, and I think we're just going to end it there. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a bit of a wild ride. I'm very tired, so I'm going to call it night here. If you want to stick around, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you want to, comment what you want to see next, and I'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't. I'll see you. Gosh, I'll see you on Monday. I haven't planned what I'm going to do on Monday, so it could be bad. It could be. It could be good. Who knows? I have no idea. So I'll see you then. There's only one way to find out, and that is to to wait. So see you, lads, and goodbye.